Good afternoon, everyone. This is Patrick from Be Seen Solutions. Today, we have another riveting episode of the ABCs of Digital Marketing. I'm sitting with one of our premier clients, Jessica Peskin from Global Recruiters of Denver. Jessica, thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. Hey, Pat. Thanks so much for having me. Appreciate the opportunity. Oh, listen, we love the opportunity to speak with our clients and talk to them about their services and who they are and what they do. And before we get started and, and tell people what you do, you have an interesting uh, tagline that's in, your, that's in your LinkedIn profile. And it's, it's actually uh, finders of keepers. What does finders of keepers, what does it really mean? So we consider ourselves finders of keepers because in the talent acquisition space, a lot of times uh, candidates that are presented don't necessarily stick around. So we wanna make sure that that match is so perfect that not only is the our candidate gonna add value to your organization, but they're there for the long term to grow and continue to add value. So your name says it all, but I want you to really talk about it. Global sure. Recruiters of Denver, okay? Yeah. You're not just recruiting in Denver, you're recruiting throughout the country, throughout the world, correct? That's correct. So when I moved over into the talent acquisition space after 20 plus years in the insurance vertical, I really wanted to try and drill down to a certain market. Well, lo and behold, that didn't happen because prior to Global Recruiters of Denver, I spent a whole lot of time leading business development efforts nationally for a national carrier. And so with that, I grew my network pretty quickly and I have a ton of peers and colleagues throughout the US. So while I wanted to maybe just work in Denver to begin with, I slowly expanded outside. And so today I work nationally and I work with some great people that I used to work with in my prior corporate life. And now they count on me to help them bring top talent. You know, I have to ask you because there are recruiting companies out there by the handful. Mm -hmm. And what I'm most impressed about when we built our relationship together with BC and with you, I'm most impressed about your you are really dialing in. You're very, you're very specific about what we do and how we do it, meaning how you do it. And what makes Global Recruiters of Denver, what makes them different? I could talk about it, but I'd rather you do because it's your company. Well, thanks. Um, hang with me for a second because I'm going to take you into the Wayback Machine for a second. We're going way so, back. Um, my career, uh, a large part of my career has been spent in a business development role, sales and marketing and messaging. And so with that, um, I really learned that as I was promoting products for the companies that I was leading efforts for, that it was not a value to try and be everything to everyone. And I saw my competitors do that. Whatever the client needed, my competitor had an answer for it. And so I realized early on that it was better to really kind of carve out your own space. And so how we're different, I think, from some other recruitment firms, and there's some great ones out there, but where I think we really make our way and shine is that we really want to understand what the roles are and what a perfect candidate looks like. But in addition to that, we want to make sure that we're taking on assignments where we really are the subject matter experts. So for me, having a 20 plus year career in the insurance space, Chances are the role that I might be seeking, the candidate that I might be seeking to fill a role is someone I either managed in the past or maybe I even held that position myself. So we have a really high level of subject matter expertise that I think really sets us apart from others. You know, I want to jump on something that you said because it really, really, really separates you and it really makes what you do so unique. You talked about having that, that, that echelon candidate as well as that echelon client. Mm -hmm. And you, you marry the two together. But your, your screening process that we had kind of delved into when we were doing the campaign and doing the campaign with you is very, 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 what I call granule high level. It's not, we're just hiring a salesperson and we run you all over the country. You're, you're very detailed with that. Would you mind pontificating a little bit about that? Sure. Um, it's one of the areas I like the most about this business. So um, for those people who haven't ever spoken to me before, you might not pick up on it in this interview, but I'm a fairly social gal. I love people. I enjoy conversations and I learn so much about the candidates that we talk to. So for me, it became a little more of not just the perfect match, which I think is very important, but sure. 
Sure. I like to understand what, what people's passions are. So when I talk to a candidate, of course I'm validating skills, of course I'm validating soft and hard skills, their experience, you know, the things that the client really wants me to dig into. But in addition to that, I'm also focusing on passion. So I think it's important to kind of understand what candidates truly enjoy about the industry, what gets them excited. You know, I, I like it when I talk to somebody and they say, oh my gosh, cat modeling gets me so excited to work on. You know, that's not a common thing. So I like to learn what drives them. And then I like to put them in an environment that fosters that same passion. I think skills, compensation, um, you know, some of those things are a little bit easier to match in my opinion. I think being able to put someone in an environment where they're really able to thrive in those passions that they have specifically is, is where the real magic happens. Well, I have to tell you, I mean, you know, through my career and, and, and with a lot of our clients past and present, you really do separate yourself in, in what you do and, and you really do take the time, you take the effort, you polish the candidate to fit the actual client that you're looking. And vice versa, you, you're, your clients are, you're very select, you don't take everyone and anyone. And that really does say a lot about what you do, especially, as I like to say, in this new world that we live in, this COVID world, this, this social distancing world where maybe you're not as, as comfortable, or, or not you, but a client or candidate is not as comfortable of where in the old days, you have to sit in front of them to get a feel for them. You're able to do that now, I guess, through the world of, of, of digital Zoom or, or digital interviews. Mm -hmm. how, is, how is COVID, if you don't mind me asking, how have you pivoted uh, your firm to, to change and work and, and mold with what's going on today? Yeah, great question. So um, yeah, these are new times. This is a new world we're in and it's going to change again soon. Um, but <laughs> what, I think, well. what I think is interesting and, and the way that I've worked with clients specifically in this time is... What I found interesting is that everyone was really open to collaborating. So all of the clients that I work with today, um, at, at, I think every single one at this point, we sat down and had a conversation to say, okay, what does hiring look like right now? What does is, what is the new onboarding process look like? How can we really continue to keep that cultural piece at the top uh, when we're meeting virtually via video and phone? I really promote uh, any type of video interviews during this, during this time. I think it's really important to be able to see body language, um, see a smile, know that someone is actively listening to what the conversation topic is. So a lot of promotion of video um, and, and there's several platforms. So, you know, whatever, pick your poison type of thing, they're all very good. Uh, I also like to promote, um, you know, multiple team interviews when possible. So another opportunity I think my clients have and, and employers have right now is to be able to see how that cultural fit works with the team. So maybe that's one or two people, or maybe even it's a panel interview, but something that's a little bit more organic and approachable. So maybe not the structured interview that we were so used to seeing in the past. I think this more casual approach has become maybe not the norm, but something that I'm seeing more of. And I, and I like that. I think that's a good thing. I agree with you, and I, and I again, I, I really I credit you to be the the model of what other uh, recruiting firms should kind of follow after, because you do everything with such grace and ease, as if it's been practiced and and you've kind of walked through it. But you're in new steps like everyone else, and you've accepted it well. You've molded yourself well, and I like to use the word you've chameleonized yourself very well to blend into what we're doing and. And I have to tell you, BC and Solutions is, is very proud to work with you. We love the opportunity that we have. We love what we've built with you. And we hope that we continue for many months, many years down the road, and we grow your firm and, and we continue to, to do well together. Let me ask you this question. How does the world out there now, how does the LinkedIn world, how do they find you? How can they dial into you? How can they, how can they locate you? Well, before I answer that question, I just want to say thank you for recognizing that we try to do things a little bit differently. And I think be seen is the same, which is why I think we're a good marriage. But um, to answer your question as far as what the LinkedIn world looks like right now, I think it's more active. I think, first of all, uh, LinkedIn's more active because more people are at home, more people are in front of their computer more often. So it's, it's just a way for us to connect to people when I think we're all missing that human connection a little bit more so now. Um, as far as being able to find my firm, myself and my team, 
Uh, you can find us on LinkedIn. We're Global Recruiters of Denver. My name is Jessica Peskin, and you can also find us on our website, which is grndenver.com. Jessica, listen, I, I thank you for taking the time on a, on a busy Tuesday. I know you're swamped with meetings and swamped with, with candidates and clients looking to, to pull at your strings to get them placed or be placed. And uh, I, I thank you for taking the opportunity to speak with us today. You know, please, everyone on, 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 in the world of LinkedIn, in the digital world itself, please look Jessica up. Look her up personally, Jessica Peskin. Look up her firm, Global Recruiters of Denver. Give her the opportunity. I promise you, you will be far, far more impressed than you think you will be. I think that what she does is just a, a method and, a, and a, a recipe for success. I thank you for taking the time today, Jessica. And as I say, it's always good to be seen and it's always good to contact Jessica. Thank you again. Thanks, Pat. Appreciate it.